shit! I'm on my second video today. I promised y'all only five videos a week for the month of August, but apparently I can't stop myself. I'm on a roll. I'm doing more than that. So make sure y'all stay tuned. Let's get it. If y'all are new to my channel and y'all are watching my videos, I need you to subscribe. I love that you're watching my videos, but I need you to support. That way you can get notified every time I upload a motherfucking video. So I decided to react to a different channel today. My coworker actually introduced me to this channel and I watched one video. And there's this duo that I absolutely think are hilarious. They have an interesting dynamic. We're gonna go ahead and react to this channel called Wow Presents. I don't know how to say this, but it's called U N H H H. Un un huh, un un un. I, I don't know. Episode one twenty two movies. But we're about to react to some drag queens. Are y'all ready? Let's get it. Films in January twenty twenty. You know, before the world went nuts. Linda. It's tight. Oh. <laughs> Have you ever been to an adult theater? Oh no. Oh sure. Really? Yes. Oh my god. You know, I'm not the rube you once imagined me to be. I'm 30 now. And the makeup girl. I was, well, this is when I was like 21. There was like 30 seats in a little movie theater and people turn off and there's like maybe three dads and they're oh, and they're turning off. And they're kind of like waiting for someone to sit next to them and to like touch you. That's too stressful. Because when you turn the corner, <laughs> you come around the corner of the movie theater and then you're holding your popcorn and you're looking for your seat and you're just like, yeah, that's weird. You're Hello. nice. <laughs> I, I think you're, I think you're amazing. <laughs> oh my God, I'm Blair St. Clair's mom. I love her makeup. Who's Linda? Is it her or the other one? I don't know. We're about to find out. <laughs> gorgeous. I think she's gorgeous. Hi, I'm the spooky optometrist, lens witchcrafters, Trixie Mattel. Okay. What's and up, girl? I'm Blair St. Clair's mother, Claire St. Clair. Katya. <laughs> so who the fuck is Linda? Is that just ah whatever? It's so true. Though. Look at the mouth. Look at the look. Is there her? <laughs> and welcome to uh, the show where we talk about whatever. That's how you say it. Uh. <laughs> I'm sorry if I fucked that up, but all right, let's rewind that again so we can say it together. Do uh, uh. the show where we talk about whatever we want because it's our show and not yours. That's, That's right. right. But guess what? You got a burning question. We have a wonderful answer, and we're gonna answer it later. So stick around. And they're unfiltered, which is what I love because my channel is called Bliss Uncensored. So I like people who speaks their mind regardless of what you think. Well, you know what a great way to uh, escape reality is? What? Go to the movies. Movies are the magic of the, the movies. movies. And you can listen to us because we are SAG members. SAG, go on, got the screeners in the mail. But if yeah. I watch Joker, am I gonna turn straight? Uh, I watched it and I just, <laughs> no. It's, uh, Cause I, I think like neck beards from Reddit are like, they want to make Joaquin president now. Well, think about it. That movie. An, uh, an old, uh, like, saggy, pallid, sad man mm. putting on, um, like, hunching in front of a mirror, putting on makeup. Well, now I'm sold. Yeah. I think, <laughs> it's like how Stephen King's It was supposed to be a Look. horror. I'm like, the guy wears big shoes and makeup and hates kids. He's a hero. Yeah. <laughs> oh, for the drags. Like <laughs> oh, Listen. By the way, Joker, I liked that movie a lot. But it gave me a lot of anxiety towards the end when he was at the show. It just felt so real. I deal with mental health illnesses myself, so so seeing someone else go through it, it was like so much anxiety. But it was so realistic, which is what I liked about that movie. Please do. Um, what's your most I... memorable movie seeing experiences? Okay. Well, I saw Wayne's World in the theater seven times. Ooh, <laughs> Wayne's World. <laughs> seven times. And what the last time I went by myself and I sat on the floor. And I knew that was it. I was like, okay, I'm done. When I was five, I think, five or six, I saw Jurassic Park in the movie theater. Jurassic Ooh. Park! The year was 1995, I believe. And I will say, as a young child, that was a little too scary for me at the time. I love anyway, Jurassic Park. Big screen, dinosaurs, the part where the, I will never forget the part where the dinosaur looks in the window, the eyeball. Oh, yeah. It, he's about to eat kids. I'm a kid. Yeah. I was just like, this Be is next. a lot. But it's such a testament to the magic of Hollywood. RuPaul says Hollywood's not a place. It's an idea. Mm. I love going to the movies and I love going alone. Is your brain getting too big? No, I'm just thinking. <laughs> 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 but 
like, if we're going to be famous YouTubers, we can't have a good video without the thumbnail being like... Facts. Yeah. Gotta be dramatic. I need you to be crying yeah. and be like this. Yeah. Dramatic. Mm. Do, you think do you think it's the mark of a psychopath to go to the movie by yourself? Absolutely. Listen, you better not say it is. You better not say it is because that's me. That's me. When I was really going through it, I needed, I needed some alone time. And it's not like I had many friends to go with anyways. So I would literally go to the movies every weekend to watch one or two movies. And I would go inside, get my beverage. Sometimes it'd be like a glass of wine. Sometimes I get popcorn or nachos pick my movie out and go inside the theater. And I would go during the day, so there, was, there weren't that many people to begin with. So yeah, that's exactly how I look like. Mm, uh, yeah, mm. I guess maybe I did look like a psychopath. But I liked it, I enjoyed it. Absolutely not, I, I got over that um, uh, a long, long time ago because I like to go see weird uh, French films and that you know, my friends would go see. Sure. During the day, I love a morning movie. I've never done a morning movie, but I love a matinee. You want to you go see a movie in silence? Mm -hmm. You want an audience that is going to barely laugh when it's funny? I don't want people to laugh. I mean, you, you can have a good time, but I don't want that. Why? You know what I mean? Like, I also don't go for clapping when it's over. Why do people clap at a movie theater? <laughs> They're not here. They're not here. It's, it's so just to, you know, just to like let people know that you really love the movie. I don't know. Here. Only in LA. Girl, is he Vogan? Childhood me, when my family would go to the movies, which, you know, not often, maybe twice a year, to see, like, Harry Potter, like, something, right? Um, we would go, and my, my family would, the, the winter coats, the snacks, and the coat. Is that how you spell canceled, by the way? With one L or two Ls? I always get that confused. Comment below and just write the word canceled, the way you spell it. Oh, well, yeah, 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 smuggling. And my mom push it too far. Smuggle. Oh, really? <laughs> Hell <laughs> yeah! Hell yeah! dogs in here. Girl! She'd be like, yeah, she's she'd be like, curling in the uh, front row. Yeah, yeah. I put this pack of eight buns in your purse. I'm like, oh, mm. I have a purse. She's like, you're carrying mine. Like, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, it turned gay because it's just a cool <laughs> yes. It's the cooler that, like, she'd also make me cross dress, which that was. You gotta do what you gotta do. Women, if you have your purse, bring the biggest purse you have. Stuff that motherfucker up. I actually bring a little blanket with me because it does get cold in the theater. So, you know, there's been times where I, you know, I put a couple things underneath my little blanket. They're not gonna check it. Listen, it's expensive. The concession are expensive. Part of it. Why the wig? <laughs> to hide all yeah. the <laughs> Why the gauchos? Fuck it. I had gauchos on. I had gauchos on. When I pulled up my leg, Slim Jims. You gotta be creative. <laughs> I said, what do you want? I got a nerd's oh, rope? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh my god. What theater do you like in LA? Well, um, I go to one by my house. It's, a, it's like a small AMC. It's nice. That's your living room. <laughs> Well, I wrote AMC on the wall. <laughs> yeah. Shh. And we only show the few DVDs I have. I so I have Bowfinger. I've never seen that. I've never seen that. I've never seen that. But mm. the real show starts before the movie when I make the announcement. I always wear a different towel, and I, I'm sure to enunciate and say my words so that the audience knows exactly what's going on in my house. Thank you all for coming to the Living Room Cinema Showcase feature film Sliding Doors, starring Gwyneth Piltrow, a bony white woman who discovers that when it comes to doors, it's not simply a push or pull situation. Enjoy. In LA, I like to go to the art club because it's yeah. kind of more like the serious movie people, yes. and I need serious adults to shut up. Good yeah. um, we don't do talking. Yeah, but we also, do, we also don't do shushing. Have you, have you witnessed the shushing? I've I have. The shushing, yeah. I have, I've too. never been more like, yes, queen, to the shusher. <laughs> and it's always kids, young people. Oh, really? Talking, yes. It's not old people being like, did you see that, Irene? He was dead the whole time. Well, maybe it is old people, though. Because oh, I've never been to, I haven't been to a movie that a kid's been at, because they generally don't take, I don't like those movies. Girl, um, they be loud. Kids. They usually sit in the back, a whole group of them. You know damn well they're not really watching the movie. They're just there to hang out. It can be a little bit annoying sometimes. No, I don't know. Uh, but a lot of horror movies have kids in them. Teenagers. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. I like to see horror movies at home where they can generally like bone show me to death. Yes. Sure. You'll even add extra theater to it. Fun fact, my favorite type of movie genre is horror. I will never watch a scary movie by myself because I'm a little scary cat, but I'm always down to watch one with somebody or in a movie theater hoping that there's at least one more person in there. <laughs> But I love those movies. A Halloween cobweb. Oh yeah, I'll tape a knife to the ceiling. <laughs> it's gonna fall at any, I don't know when. You know what I mean? Like loose tape, loose tape, scotch, scotch, scotch tape. You know what you got. <laughs> you, 
That was I, pageant talk where I understand your life. <laughs> I like to get a, uh, well, I'm pretty easy. Diet Coke. Yeah. I have a question though. I know they, they're obviously dressed in drag, but I wonder if they can really perform. If y'all have seen them perform before, comment below and let me know where I can find those videos. I would like to see it. A trough of popcorn. Okay. Yeah. With butter. They're like real butter or fake? I'm like, oh. Yeah. I wanna I wanna I want to put my hand in the popcorn and have it wet stick to my hand. Nah. I I mean I love too popcorn. much. I love it. I uh, <laughs> I just love it. I don't like people coming during the movie. No interruptions. Sure. No interruptions. Like I'm okay when the movie with it. starts. I will never leave the room. Ever. Have you ever walked out? Yes. Would you walk out of twice? Okay. Hanging up with Diane Keaton, Meg Ryan, and somebody else? But we were, we were skipping. That seems like your movie. I know. We were skipping school and we saw that stinker and we were like, this sucks. And we just left and smoked cigarettes. I've never walked I out. I skipped school once and it was with some older cool kids yeah, and we went too. to see. <laughs> oh God. We went Toy to Story. See. It's Toy Story. Under the Tuscan Sun. <laughs> I have never seen that movie. Were you 70? Are you 70? Do you, do you love Turquoise Joy? What's wrong with you? <laughs> And I had the nerve to make fun of Ron for like either three mile under the Tuscan. We went to see under the Tuscan set, and that movie is crazy. There's a part where her laundry machine gets hit by like lightning. Well, that girl, crazy. well, you, know you just killed the fucking movie. What if I wanted to watch it? Now I know what's gonna happen. Sixteen being like, what? The fuck? What movie is this? I think we just wanted to to go to the movies, and that was what was available. Damn. Going to the movies, I don't know if that's a great first date. Who goes to, on a first nah. date to a movie? I think it's I like horrible. Do. do people still do that? You can't talk to each other. For the first date? Nah. Y'all gotta go out to dinner and actually have a conversation because you want to know who you're fucking with. I would say a date at the movies would be good like after maybe like the sixth date. Mm, yeah, I would say so. We're gonna do this. I was 18, right, in my first apartment and this guy wanted to come over and do stuff, right? do stuff mm. and he came over and I said you know what let's just watch a movie at home which I didn't know at the time was divisive right it means sex sex is like <laughs> young to sex. Yeah. yeah he yeah. comes over he rents a documentary about John Wayne Gacy and that's what we're watching so it and it's sucks. not sexy and he eventually we're watching the movie and he goes it's really hot in here and he takes his shirt off and I was just like <gasps> okay this is weird because John Wayne Gacy raped young boys and kill them. And he's got you watching that, and it's making him hot. I hope you ran. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great though? It was, it was weird, because I was already in a clown wig. So I was like, <laughs> did you see this coming? <gasps> oh, you got in the theater? Okay, never done it. What? But I know someone who has. Okay. And this someone went on a date with a guy, it was like a hookup thing, and the guy was like, well, I'm really into public stuff, because gay people are rotted, right? Yeah. Straight people are like, what? No, gay people, unless yeah. it's like, they're getting publicly a samurai sword up their ass. They're <laughs> in front of their parents. In front of their parents. Yeah. Like, yeah. they're not interested. Yeah. So, they go to the movie theater, they sit down, and the guy said, he just wanted like, a shot at the movie theater. This mother pulls his pants down to the ankle, sits down naked in the seat with the... I love that. I love that. That is the equivalent of the kids who use the urinal and pull their pants down. I love ankles. that too. Oh my god. I hear these stories all the time, but I've never witnessed anybody do it. And I myself have not done it, and I'm not interested in doing it, quite honestly. I'd be too scared to get caught. I'm down for public shit. But in the theater though, I don't know. Like, this is, you know, this is my world, you're just living in it. Have you ever seen a movie you're in at the movie theater? Yes. What was it? That Bianca mess. When I've I did the festival that. circuit for moving parts, some of the festivals, they play the movies in real functioning movie theaters. Mm -hmm. So it's like Star Wars, Return of the Your Mom, or whatever, and then, <laughs> um, and then at one of the theaters was moving parts, and I saw people lined up with popcorn, and it was so, to see the movie playing and smell popcorn, it was like, whoa, this is real. That was the only time it felt real, was when I smelled popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who I saw at the movies the other day? Who? Keanu Reeves. Gag! Yeah. Is he seeing his own movie? I wish he was. I think he was seeing The Matrix, which is weird because it wasn't playing. <laughs> he walked right into Arclight and said, Here's, a, here's a tape. So I <laughs> Keanu Reeves is a handsome man. <laughs>
Got a question? Now it's time to answer. Uh, I don't, but other people do, so let's hear your answers. Here's some questions. You know what I love about questions? The answers that they get. A. Hey. <laughs> how do you deal with idiots on a daily basis? Hashtag, wow, help me. Well, I've invited them to write me letters, <laughs> so. Well, it depends your environment. Like when I worked in retail, guess what? It is your job to deal with the idiot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, there's, well, there's certain types of idiocy. If it's mean-spirited, that can become very um, oppressive over time. What would you rather have to deal with? Just pungent, like, unbelievable stupidity or biting short rudeness? That. Mm. The, the latter. Yeah, the mean stuff. That's at least you can get over quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Like, you know, like, I'll just take my candle and leave. Right, right, right. <laughs> I love when someone threatens, you'll never get my business again. We don't want it. Right, I'm okay, fine. you can leave. I Go. I'm good. Money to have you never come back. <laughs> yeah, so I, I think in general, um, I think a part of growing up is you just sort of like, you're never going to escape the idiot. No. And you'll also They're all around. be the idiot. That's, that's yeah, that's <laughs> Try to be sympathetic. Everyone they're everywhere. Thinks they're right. Everyone's the protagonist in their own story. Mm. That person thought you were an idiot, probably. Ah, and true. You wrote into this, so you probably are. Oh this shit. This person was like, "What an idiot." You know what? I'm gonna consult drag queens from the internet. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> Am I bad? I'm an idiot, <laughs> well, yo. We hope that helps. And if you need help, you can use the hashtag <laughs> Wow Help Me at World of Wonder on Twitter. Also, I've had moments in my life where I step back and go, "Wow, <laughs> help, help me." me. Yeah. <laughs> But there's nobody to tweet at. But there's yeah. nobody to tweet at. I've just been tweeting to avoid. I bet you if you go back a few years ago, the first person to use Wow Help Me was Sandra Bullock. Yeah, for sure. Sandy B. And I celebs. love Sandra Bullock. A list celeb. She's one of my favorite I know um, what, actresses. So, you know, Scott Evans has can't decide between Jungle Juice or Pimple Popper. <laughs> Wait, what about that? Right? Jungle Juice or Pimple Popper? Yeah, the different poppers. Rush. Oh, Rush. that. Yeah, Rush. <laughs> I'm trying to help him. Scott yeah. Evans. Yeah, and we want to see if Kaylee Cuoco uh, just did the down payment on that barn she's been looking at. Wow, help me. <laughs> Transition from oh. wet to dry. That's the story of my skin entering my 30s. Hello. Okay. I had to basically. Hello. Girl, we can see. You got to cross your damn legs. You got to sit like a lady because if you want us to see underneath that dress, that's what's happening right now. <laughs> Girl. <What? laughs> <laughs> it's like the antiques. It's like shop owners in Palm Springs. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, like, you know, sassy. Like a jersey, yeah. Yeah, sassy. Hello. Uh, yeah. What? Enamel pins aren't back? She snorted. And that was it. Tell me what you thought about this video. I think they're fucking hilarious. And I actually felt like I was part of the conversation. So tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.